Hello and welcome to today's episode of NYSC Half R. I am Coco Hensher. On today's episode, we bring you highlights from the much-awaited inauguration of the NYSC TV and radio, which held at the Yakubuka One House, NYSC headquarters, Meitama Abuja, which is aimed at giving the scheme a stronger presence in the media sphere to effectively engage the public and showcase the various contributions of the scheme to the nation's economy and harness the potentials of core members. Come along with us. must congratulate the DG and directors and members of top management for this groundbreaking ceremony of course to commission the NYC radio and television indeed this development will give NYC a platform to interact with our critical stakeholders across the world it will interest you to know that our co-producing institutions are not limited within the boundary of this country we have co-members, of course, prospective co-members drawn from different tertiary institutions across the globe. And the radio and television will be a veritable platform to reach out to our prospective co-members, the co-producing institutions and other critical stakeholders. This will also showcase the invaluable contributions of the National Youth Service Corps to the development of our dear nation Nigeria. We welcome you most sincerely and we are glad you are part of history to witness this historic event. You're most welcome. Director of Press and Public Relations Eddie Megwa in his introductory address appreciates the efforts of the Director General Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim and states the core objectives of the NYSC radio and TV. 
today's historical event is an icing on the cake for the unprecedented strikes of the serial achiever, the 18th Director General of the National Youth Service Corps, Major General Shuaibu Ibrahim. The fact that NYSC radio and television hit the airwaves barely a month after the licenses were granted is a testimony to the passion the Director General has for this project and indeed for any project he set out to accomplish. I recall with nostalgia that the first assignment the Director General gave me on resumption of duty as the Chief Executive of the National Youth Service Corps was to prepare a memo to the Nigerian Broadcasting Commission for the radio broadcast license. Almost three years after, we are celebrating this great feat with thunderous excitement. Director General, sir, we thank you for bequeathing this legacy to this king. Our gratitude for giving us voice cannot be enough. On behalf of NYC family, I say God bless you for this gesture and for taking the NYC to greater heights in all fronts within the short period you have mentored us in this king. There is no doubt that the radio and television station will tremendously boost the visibility of this scheme in the media space, both locally and internationally, and also project and amplify the many achievements of this scheme, which has been largely under-publicized. In fact, the ultimate impact of this station in the pursuit of the schemes and mandate can better be imagined. The Director General, Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim, reiterates that the NYSC TV and radio will showcase the programs of the scheme and train core members in the broadcast media. The NYSC is almost 49 years old and has continued to provide successive badges of core members with the requisite platforms to make meaningful contributions to our national development in various aspects of our national life, such as unity and integration, education, health, infrastructure, participation in national elections, which has contributed immensely towards conferring legitimacy on our electoral process, as attested to by some governmental and non-governmental bodies, advocacies on social engineering and agriculture, among others. Against this backdrop, it is pertinent to state that the centrality of core to the national development agenda cannot be overemphasized. The assembly of the National Youth Service Radio and Television is part of the whole gamut of activities designed to further advance the course of the scheme, which today symbolizes national unity and is in forefront of raising core of youth entrepreneurs that contribute to the country's gross domestic product through their exposure to the NYC skill acquisition. While the NYC radio broadcasts on channel 383 FM in Abuja, the NYC television runs on TSTV channel 365. The philosophy behind the establishment of this station is multifaceted. They will educate and entertain, give the scheme a stronger voice to showcase the programs and sensitize Nigerians on the policies of government, in addition to the promotion of national unity, national ethos, as well as values and orientation. Thus, they will contribute in redirecting the mindsets of Nigerians, especially the youth, towards things that are noble. Primarily, run by core members under the supervision of relevant NYC staff members, they are almost meant to provide an avenue to train and hone their skills of successful batches of core members interested in pursuing careers in the broadcast industry, particularly in the areas of production, TV radio engineering program, presentation, graphic design, and content development, among others. Indeed, going by the number of talents so far harvested among the core members to run these stations, I will say without equivocation that Nigeria is truly blessed with rich human resources. At this juncture, 
I have the pleasure of informing His Excellency and other distinguished guests some of other strides made by the present management, which include amongst others. Publication of nine books on the scheme. The management anchored the publication of nine books that highlight the contribution of NYS to national unity and development from inception to the year 2020. The books will help researchers and other stakeholders to gain clearer insights into the programs and accomplishments of the scheme, as well as engender a greater appreciation of its continued relevance. Resuscitation of weekly NYC television and radio programs. In a bid to sustain the wide publicity being enjoyed by the scheme, we resuscitated the weekly magazine program, NYC Half Hour on NTA International Channel 251 and the Armed Forces Radio, Abuja. The program showcases the scheme's activities to Nigerians and the rest of the world. Production of NYC Movies. We initiated the NYC Movie Platform, Christian the NYC Wood, as yet another avenue for harnessing the potentials of core members. Our first main movie titled A Call to Service was premiered on the 4th of December 2021 in Abuja. Apart from its entertainment function, the movie which has core members among the cast will also serve as a tool for public sensitization on all the roles of the stakeholders in the scheme. Establishment of the NYC Museum. The NYC Museum was inaugurated in, in January this year for effective preservation of the scheme's records, artifacts, and legacies, including core members' inventions, fabrications, and artworks. The museum, which is domiciled in this headquarters complex, is already operational, while retrieval of archival materials is continuing. Establishment of NYC National Cultural Troop. This serves as a veritable platform for core members to develop their talent in drama and cultural performances while also enjoying public support towards harnessing such talents through patronage. Establishment of the NYC North Central Skill Acquisition Center. This is in line with our policy on the invigoration of the skill acquisition entrepreneurship development program for the scheme. Like similar ones established in the Northeast and Northwest as well as the Southwest, it will provide core members with access to effective post-camp training in different vocational skills. Establishment of the NYC Garment Factory, Bakery, a water factory in Kefi, Nasrallah State. The NYSC Cultural Troupe chose the audience with their captivating and energetic performance at the inauguration. This is a form of national unity dance being portrayed by NYC National Troop, showcasing the rich cultural heritage of our dear nation Nigeria. The representative of the chairman of the NYSC Governing Board, Haji Yusuf Ulman Naladu, speaks on the platform the scheme has provided core members in the broadcast media. NYSC has proven to be in tune with the current realities. With the establishment of the NYSC radio and television stations, the scheme has now provided the youth core members to a platform to develop their talent in the broadcast media while also creating awareness to the general public a laudable program activities of the scheme. I therefore admonish the management of the scheme to sustain this tempo. I am happy to say that in recent times, the NYC has reawakened the consciousness of the core members on the need to contribute their own quota to the overall development of the country, which is truly paramount. 
the representative of the Minister for Youth and Sports Development, Malam Ismail Abubakar, appreciates Director General Major General Shwahibu Ibrahim for the milestone achievements recorded so far. The Federal Minister of Youth and Sports Development congratulates the establishment of the uh, National Youth Service Corps Headquarters for the milestone achievement recorded so far. The TV and radio provide information to the people throughout the country. It is therefore expected that he would utilize this golden opportunity to sensitize Nigerians on the laudable objectives behind the creation of the NYC scheme. The Ministry is fully aware of your notable programs and projects that are targeted at youth mobilization to make them independent and self-reliant through skills acquisition. On this note, I want to congratulate each and every one of you that contributed in one way or the other to achieve the coming on board of the TV and radio station. General Dr. Yakubu Gowan mentions that the NYSC radio and TV is one of the greatest achievements of the scheme in recent times. He also commends the Director General and other Director Generals for their efforts and urges NYSC management to sustain the tempo of the strides that has kept the scheme in limelight. Indeed, the establishment of these uh, two outfits is one of the greatest achievements of the National Youth Service Corps in recent times. I therefore commend the Director General, General Shuaibu Ibrahim, and all other uh, former uh, directors, uh, uh, director generals, and I urge the NYSC management to sustain the tempo of its ongoing strides, which have kept scheme uh, kept the scheme in the national and global limelight. There is no again saying the fact that this scheme has in almost five decades of its existence successfully harnessed the potentials of our graduate youth as models for defining patriotism, credible and quality leadership, as well as the economic regeneration. These media outfits will in no, uh, in no doubt contribute towards enhancing and sustaining the capacity of the scheme to consolidate its achievements as well as reach out to its national and global audience. In particular, they will serve in a, as veritable tools for, the, for driving our quest for national unity, cohesion, and purposeful, uh, purposeful development. I am always delighted to note that our core members have continued to render patriotic and selfless service to our dear country, especially as active participants in the implementation of national programs such as uh, elections, immunization, population census, advocacy programs on sustainable development goals, SDGs, National Youth Service Corps Health uh, initiative for rural dwellers, an HIV AIDS campaign. 
while commending the scheme for sustaining its intervention in these critical areas, it is my sincere hope that these and other achievements would be given the widest publicity by this NYSC radio and television stations in order to elicit increased support from the general public. I wish to use this medium to express my profound appreciation to governments at all levels, federal, state, local government, for according priority to matters of youth development and the National Youth Service Corps in particular. I would like to also appeal to all sundry to give more support to the scheme in its arduous task of promoting national unity, integration and development in line with our vision. Wow! Yet again, the scheme has created another medium to sensitize the public in addition to training core members in the broadcast industry. Well done, DG, and well done the entire management of the NYSC. Stay with us. We would be right back. The National Youth Service Call, a call to service, a call to nationhood. Nigerian youths, stand up and embrace this clarion call. Wherever you are posted, accept it, embrace it. Do not harbor any fears because your security is assured. Develop common ties with members of your host communities. You would discover that North, South, East and West we are all brothers with common ties and a shared destiny as one nation. Do not lobby for preferential posting, for it is unpatriotic and illegal. Report at once to the orientation camp as soon as you are posted and contribute your quarter to the overall development of our great nation, Nigeria. The National Youth Service Corps, building future leaders. Welcome back. Now, don't forget to tune in to NYSC TV on TS TV channel 365 and NYSC Radio 88.3 FM. This is where we draw the curtains on today's episode of NYSC Half R. We always love to hear from you, so please write to us on the online handles displayed on your screens and we would write back. 
Remember, the safety of core members in our communities is the responsibility of you and I. Until I see you next time, I am Coco Hensha. Stay safe. Do something.